I had been cheated on. And I went to my homegirl house, okay? We were chilling. We were drinking. We are having a good time. Girl. <laughs> and it's fine. He was so cute. Okay, how old was I? I think I was like 20. And I'm not glorifying cheating. Okay, let me just say that. I'm not glorifying it. I'm just, we're just talking about cheating. Um, how old was I? Um, I don't know, girl. I was in my maybe 20, 20, 26, maybe 27. I don't fucking know. But anyway, um, I went to my homegirl house and there was this man there. She said cheating is fun. Oh, he said it. <gasps> no, it's not fun. Don't say that. Cheating is not fun. Cheating is horrible. It is the worst betrayal that you can do to somebody. It's horrible. It's hurtful. No, it's not fun. But maybe it's fun for you. I don't know. But anyway, so I saw this man. He was so damn fine. He was so fine. And he was younger than me. Like, not too much younger, but... I don't know. I think he was like 22 or something. I don't know, girl, but he was fine as hell. He had a nice car. He drove up and he was chilling. And he was really good friends with my homegirl's man. Okay. Let me check the water, girl. I'm getting scared. <laughs> okay, hold on. No, ew. I don't like girls. No offense. I mean, I think y'all, we are beautiful creatures, but I just don't like girls. I almost had a threesome once. We can talk about that, but it didn't go down. Anyway, so he pulled up. I met him. He was cute. He was quiet. I love quiet guys. Like, I love guys that just, like, stick to themselves and don't say much. Ew, my bra strap. Anyway, um... So I like that about him. And yeah, I just seen him for a minute. Okay. She said threesomes are fun. Y'all like threesomes? We could talk about threesomes one day. Um, so he he was there for a minute. I just met him and then he drove away. And I was like, oh my God, he's so cute. So the next time I seen him, he came back to my homegirl's house. I was there. And my homegirl was having a birthday party for somebody. So we were all getting drunk and we were having fun or whatever. And <clears throat> he was like there, like he came in and he was chilling. He was drinking. And then why are grown asses want to play truth or dare? <laughs> it's so, it's so immature, but it was so much fun. We had so much fun. So we, we played truth or dare, right? And um, of course my home girl, I think it was my home girl. Or it might have been the other dude there. They dared us to kiss. My homegirl knew that I thought he was cute, but whatever. Um, so we kissed. It was like a peck. Okay. It was literally a peck. And I was like, okay, like I was so into him. He was so cute, you guys. And then um the fucking dare came around again. Nobody was even. You let him hit. Girl, we get into that part. Be patient. We're getting, damn, we gonna get there. Um, shit, not the first time I met him. Okay. So um, the dare came around again. Nobody was speaking truth. Okay, nobody. And it was my turn or it was his turn, somebody's turn. And they 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 dared us to like go in the bathroom for like 30 seconds. It was so stupid. But whatever, we did it. We went in the bathroom. And we pretty much made out in the bathroom. Yeah, it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Um, she said, truth or dare will get you every time. Girl, my homegirl knew what she was doing. Okay. Anyway, I think it was like the next time I seen him. Um, I decided, oh, no, it wasn't the next time I seen him. No, 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 no. It was a while. Like, I went a while without seeing him. And then when I did see him, we were at this my homegirl's other friend's house, and he pulled up. He pulled up. He was like, you want to come with me? And I was like, 
okay <laughs> my ass and i went with him and we went back to his place and we got it on okay period it was bomb it was really good it was fun and i seen him a couple more times after that but during that time i was in a relationship obviously i was cheating and um and i don't know why you know i always I don't want to talk about my ex in any type of way, but like, why are you calling the cops? Like, I'm over here having a good ass time doing what you did a thousand times. You know what's up? Why are you calling the police, sir? This man's calling the police. Oh, because I accidentally fell asleep, bitch. I fell asleep at his house because he put it down. Okay. <laughs> and girl, I wake up and I have all these messages from the police station. Like, Olivia, this is detective, blah, blah. Where we have been looking for you. It's an open missing persons case, <laughs> bitch. And I was like, what the fuck? This nigga did not put an APB out on my ass, okay? I promise you he did. And my whole thing is like this. If you can do it, why can't you take it? If you can dish it, but you can't take it. You know what the fuck I'm doing? Real recognize real, player recognize player. What the hell? calling the goddamn police. Okay, I was mad. I didn't call the police on you when you were out there cheating and cheating and cheating. Shit, I let you cheat in peace, sir. Let me cheat in peace. Goddamn, calling the fucking police. Anyway, girl, yes, 911, okay? <laughs> he called 911, bitch. Shit. I was I was mortified, okay? But I remember that day when I came back home, it was raining really hard. And yep, sure did. My little side piece dropped me off right in front of the, the apartment. Right in front of the apartment, okay? He was bold. He didn't give a fuck, okay? So when I went inside, I'm like, what's going on? I just acted like I fell asleep. I 